I'm with Scott Brosha. Scott, no one had a bigger World Series than you. Just take me back to 1998. Help me relive it a little bit. What was it all like? Yeah, first first of all, it was a long time ago. It's crazy to think about that it's been 25 years already. And so just wrapped my head around that. But um, it's funny how some things, although it's, it's a long time ago, there's certain things that you just remember like it was yesterday. The emotions are still there, you know. And, and so, you know, I, I think about two things with the season. I think about course the end of the season the last out and just the celebration you know being my first world series and you know coming from a last place team the year before it was literally living the dream you know um, but I think about the beginning of the season two spring training and you know meet, being in the clubhouse meeting the guys for the first time and just really kind of everybody's just focus really a singular focus on winning and it really showed kind of throughout the year that's what that team had. I mean you fit in in a big way but was there any concern coming in during spring training not knowing what to expect and what it would be? Yeah, I think whenever you're the new guy on campus, you know, you're not sure what the role is going to be, what, you know, what all that's going to look like. But I mean, really from the top down from Mr. Steinbrenner, the first time that I met him to Joe, you know, and then the guys in the clubhouse, it was just such a smooth, easy transition, such a cohesive team. You know, you from day one, you, you felt like you were a part of this. And, and, um, and then of course, when you're the team's playing well, the, it becomes really fun. You mentioned earlier, you remember some of those emotions. Can you kind of describe the emotions when you're hitting home runs in the World Series? Yeah, I mean, it's it's funny because you, you, you think different things. And, and, you know, the first one in, in 98, I guess, was, you know, in game three you know, in game three, the first one, game three, and you, you kind of, we still didn't have a lead, but you're kind of running around the base going, well, that's kind of cool. I, you know, hit a home run in the World Series, but we're, you know, still behind in the game. Uh, the second one was very different, you know. Um, then it was just, like I said, I always wondered, you know, when I'd watch guys prior to being there, like, would I be the guy that kind of, like, can keep it cool, or am I the guy that's going to show a lot of emotion? I think I kind of learned, obviously, that I'm more of the show of the emotion. It was it was just exciting, and there, there was, for me, there was no way to really kind of hold it in. One thing that a lot of guys mentioned about that team is the unselfishness, too. How do you think that Joe Torre got the buy-in from everybody to, to be unselfish? Yeah, I don't know. You know, for me, Joe, I, he had the ability, and you know, managing is, is more than just the X's and the O's and making decisions. It's, it's players and knowing how to get the best out of guys and that's what he was great at he had the ability to say the right things at the right times to guys and and to draw the best out of them and so you know for me personally um he just instilled confidence you know he knew you had your back and 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 so he was just he, he was very easy to play for he was a great buffer between some of the things that new york can be kind of a distraction he just allowed it to kind of some of that stuff to go away and just told you to go out have fun and play the game what does that World Series ring mean to you? Um, it, it makes it it makes it seem real still. Like it, it like I said, 25 years. It, it's crazy, and there's times, especially living in Oregon, where I kind of feel like it was almost a lifetime ago. Like, did that really happen? But then you kind of take, you know, you you think about that, and, and you get the reminder. You look at the actual ring itself, and you're like, yeah, I was a part of something really special. He is your 1998 World Series MVP, Scott Brosha. Scott, thanks for the time. Absolutely, thank you.